New York Knicks need an additional piece. That's one element. I'm looking at Philadelphia. They got to be healthy. I'm looking at Milwaukee. They got to be healthy and prove that the coexistence of Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo is something that can really, really work because what the Boston Celtics have proven by winning this championship, they're not going away. What is next for Dallas, for the Eastern Conference, for the NBA as a whole? We just seen Boston Celtics win game five on their home court, 106 to 88. Now, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, they have been knocking on the door for what, six years at this point? And now they finally got it. They finally got the championship. <laughs> now, most people, some people, let's say some people might say, well, during the Eastern Conference, a lot of people was hurt. The Cavs series with Garner, Indiana series, the Philadelphia series, a lot of these key players was hurt. So Celtics kind of just cruise ahead to the finals, right? And you got the Western Conference with Dallas beating out the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard. He's always hurt, so don't. I, I'm not even going to say anything about him. He's always hurt. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. The dude's always hurt. Um, <laughs> with Minnesota and now here. Um, let's go with the Western Conference. Um, there's going to be a lot of teams next year. You, you know, got Denver. They just a piece or two, like one or two pieces away from coming back. They All they need is probably like a, a big man, either a defender a big defender who can like rebound, block shots, or another ball handler. Or if you get like, if you can get a wing defender, let's say just a wing defender. If you get one of those three people, they're back in it. And you got Minnesota. I don't know what they're gonna do with the the, the center centers, the big man. They gotta figure that out. They got OKC. They're 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 gonna be in it. They're pretty young, so it might take them a little while to figure it out. And then. Prethro other teams. I'm not even saying the Lakers because they're not going nowhere. Right. I'm just saying the Lakers because don't get to do it. They're not going nowhere. And you got the Eastern Conference with, you know, Milwaukee. They got to prove they can be something with Damon Leonard and Giannis. Giannis got, I don't care what you say, Giannis got a, almost a, an Achilles tear and he's got sidelined. And then Damon Nillard got hurt, I think, a little later on to that series when they were playing. So they got to figure that out. Um, the Knicks, um, I think they're kind of there. They may need, a, they may have to give it up Jet, uh, Randall or see what they got, see what they got with that. But they do need one more person besides, um, I can't think of his name, the point guard. It's, God damn. I can think of a name, but you, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Philadelphia. Um, J Bede is always injured. <laughs> they, so, I, I, you know, a lot of teams got to figure some stuff out. Now, let's get to the box score. Luka Doncic scored 28 points, 12 from 25 from the field, 2 out of 5 from the free throw line. Jason Tatum, 31 points, 11 out of 24, 8 out of 8 from the free throw line. Kyrie Irving. Oh boy, Kyrie Irving. Now, when I saw that game four, how they won, now I was thinking, you know, the NBA don't like, they really don't like sweeps in the finals. So I was kind of thinking, yeah, they, they might win besides pride alone. I'm thinking the NBA is going, you know, they don't want sweeps. So they'll, they'll figure something out. And lo and behold, Dallas won, right? So we get to game five. Kyrie stunk it up yet again, which I kind of thought was going to happen because game one and two, he didn't play that well at all. So coming into game five, I was kind of thinking the same thing, right? And he just stunk it up so bad. I, I believe he scored, what, under 10 points, I believe. I have to look at the, the full box scores, but don't, don't quote me on that. Um, Dallas went 44% from the field. Boston went 42%. Uh, let's see, Dallas got 29%, 29.7 to be exact, while Boston had 33%. Dallas had 13 turnovers to, 
to uh, Boston's nine, and Dallas had 35 rebounds to Boston 51. Like you said, if you win the rebound game, you usually going to win the game, right? Let's see, uh, free throw percentage. Dallas was 53.8 percent from free throws, while Boston was 85 assist Celtics had 25 to Dallas 18 Celtics got more steals oh you know what the Dallas did get a lot of fouls Dallas got 20 fouls to Celtics 15 so uh, uh, you know to the Boston Celtics um I don't know when the uh I don't know when the draft is coming up so we'll see Who's going to get drafted and who's going to get replaced? And they've got free agency, you know, all that good stuff for, you know, what before, you know, the uh, start of the season, right? So we've got to figure all that out. But obviously, Boston's going to be here next year. Um, hopefully, no one else gets injured. We'll see. Um, I don't know if if the math is going to make it to the finals next year. I, I, I highly doubt it. Um, I still got Denver. They they just a piece or two away. Um, got Minnesota. Then we still got what Memphis is gonna do. Memphis wasn't in it because of John Morant in that situation. So we got a lot of people in play. Congrats to Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, knocking on the door. Can and can you do it again? It would just be like a second thing. I mean, they're gonna be there. So we'll see. This uh this finals was pretty interesting i mean after game one and two i thought it was gonna just be a wrap but uh after seeing the game at least they tried i guess <laughs> i mean that's all i can say right at least they tried right you know but yeah we'll we'll, we'll south see you know we'll south see anywho oh also who before this uh before the you know the the series even started. Who did you have? I, I'm assuming most people had the Celtics. I'm just assuming most people did have the Celtics. But I had Dallas. I actually had Dallas in seven, to be honest. But it is what it is. But uh, yeah. Um, that's about it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see the Celtics coming next year. We'll just go on from there. But Kyrie, you, you have to play better. The Celtics demons definitely got to him. It was, that was pretty obvious. Um. Luka Doncic did his. Can't really complain. I don't know about that. That field goal was pretty awful, but he did his thing. He carried to do his, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Hopefully enjoy the rest of this video and this prime excellence. Peace.